Hello and welcome to the third Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to use graphics in Blitz and make uh, 2D programs with pictures. <laughs> right. So with this you'll be able to make 2D games in the future rather than just uh, using text in a simple window. So we begin by <laughs> using graphics. So this command because it's in yellow, and what we're going to do is um, a good thing to use if you don't know what a command does or what the parameters are by um, what you need to type with it. If you click on the command and you press F1, down here it tells you what you need. You need the width, height, depth, and flags, and that means these two are optional. The width and height we're going to have 640, 480, 01. Uh, these are screen width dimensions. You have to have specific ones. You can't just make up numbers. A more high resolution one is uh, 1024 by 768. However, it runs slower on some computers. Uh, this is depth. You don't really need to know about that. But just put zero there. And flags. Uh, one means it's full screen. Two means it's in a window and 3 means it's in a sizable window. We want this full screen. Uh, next up, we're setting the buffer. Uh, now this chooses where you want to draw uh, your pictures. You can have desktop buffer as an example. Now what this does is it draws on the screen. You can experiment that when you're more advanced but it can mess up your screen so be careful when using it. So we're going to use the back buffer which means it draws everything sort of behind the screen and we'll flip it over so you can see it later. And now we're going to have our loop for the program. Rather than using repeat, we're going to use while. I'm going to say while not key hit. So it means when, whenever you're not pressing the escape button, which is key hit one, then we're going to do this loop. And you need a wend at the end. It's like the end if of an if or the end select of a select or the forever of a repeat, you just need it to finish it off. In here we're going to do command CLS which clears the screen before everything's drawn on. And the end, at the end we're going to flip so you can actually see the image because we've drawn it on the back buff, we're going to flip it around. Now we've got that, now we're going to draw our picture. So you can use any picture software, it really doesn't matter. What you, All you need to do is make sure the image that you're using is saved in the same folder. Um, as the file using, so you need to save the blitz file in the same folder. So, going to paint, which is where I'm going to draw this, you can do it in any software, you just need to know uh, the file extension. Now, I'm doing a bitmap, so let's just draw the picture. It doesn't, it, it really doesn't matter what it is, but um, if you draw anything black, it will make that transparent. So, if you drawing things behind it, anything black we draw on transparent. You can change this, which is more advanced, which I will show you later. So I'm going to save this picture. There you go. And now we're going to load this. So before you do the loop, this is where you load things, we're going to say picture equals, so this is a variable and it's going to be an image equals load image and let's use the F1 again file so you just put the file in um, and our file is called picture.bmp because it's a bitmap file you might have jpg or jpeg for jpegs um, and simply here in our loop we're just going to put draw image picture and now you as you see if I do f1 again you need the x and the y in the frame frames for when you have animated images which I'll show you later. X and Y, you can have a variable so you can have changing distance so your characters move around um, but we're just going to draw this 0, zero because it, my picture is 64480 it should be full screen. So we just put an end at the end just so that when it's finished the program it will close without saying program has ended. It just makes it neater. Now if I save it, now let's run it. It should work. And Hopefully it should go full screen, and if we're lucky it will draw a picture. Oh, on 
unable to lock surface. Uh, that's weird. Um, I'm not sure why it's doing that. It should work. I'll try again. Uh, it will work if you're trying it at home. Uh, sorry, I'll try it one more time. Uh, there we go. Sometimes it just does that say if I'm using up too much CPU. There we go. It's drawing it full screen. And if I close it. If you didn't see that, then I'm sorry. But on my screen, it was full screen. If the screen capture thing didn't work, then that's a shame. I'll try comma two. So now you'll see it should come up in a window. So now if you didn't see it before, you'll see there. So that concludes this tutorial. In the next graphics tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a very simple helicopter game where you left click and move it up and down. Most of you will know the game. So thank you for watching. I hope this worked. And this is the start of a lot in Blitz graphics. Hope it worked. Thank you.